Hey guys, Mikey here filling in for Allie. Welcome to episode 72 of Controlation Weekly for the week of December 9th, 2012. We start this week with a follow-up to a story we covered last week. We reported on Dead or Alive 5 Plus heading to the Vita in 2013. We can now confirm the official release date will be March 19th. Another follow-up to previous news, Rated DLC, The Scorchers, finally got a release date and pricing. Coming out December 18th for 5 bucks on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC, which adds 6 new areas, and a new difficulty mode, Ultra Nightmare. Plus, Extended Play, which allows you to play past the ending. Double Fine, the middle manager of Justice, is available for iOS via the App Store, and the game will set you back nothing because it's free. Devil May Cry is headed to PCs on January 25th, just 10 days after the Xbox 360 and PlayStation release. Hitman is getting the HD collection treatment with the Hitman HD trilogy, which includes HD versions of Hitman 2, Silent Assassin, Hitman Contract, and Hitman Blood Money. The collection is set to launch on January 29th for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and it will run you $40. Oddworld, much as Odyssey HD, will finally see the light of day. The title is headed to PSN and scheduled for a late December release, which is presumably December 25th, and it will cost you $10. If you've been waiting for Arma 3, you will have to wait a little bit longer. As expected, the title has been pushed back to some time in 2013. Toki Tori 2 is still headed to the Wii U, but it will not be making its December 20th release date. Instead, the game has been pushed back until early 2013. Cliffy B talked to G4 TV about the possibility of starting a new game studio. Apparently, it is something he plans on doing. It's just a matter of when at this point. And he's also gestating slowly on a new IP codenamed Blue Streak. Speaking of studios, Starfield Studios has been acquired by Valve. The two-man outfit is reportedly going to be a new Valve studio based in San Francisco, though Valve is stating it's not so much a new studio as hiring the guys behind the studio. The Angry Birds movie is still in the works and is looking for a 2016 release. And now we move on to some more somber news. Machinima has cut their staff by 10%, which resulted in 23 positions being eliminated, mainly from programming and editorial. In related news, Tryon Worlds has laid off 40 developers from the Rift MMO team, as always, we wish everyone involved best of luck with any future endeavors. So that'll end it for this episode. We have one of those Facebook dealies and Twitter what's it, so do what you do with those, and we'll see you here again next week.